Um, I actually fell into fundraising by accident. I started out working at the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield and it was my first job out of uni. I was tearing tickets, selling ice creams, working on the stage door. Um, I tried to take any job that I could in a theatre really. I knew I wanted to work in the arts but didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, and after trying lots of different jobs there, our corporate fundraiser went on maternity leave and this job role was advertised. So I applied for it, thought well, give it a go. And obviously they said to me, no, Tom, you've got no experience whatsoever. But at the time, uh, the Arts Council had started running this programme called Catalyst, which was about helping organisations become more self-sustainable. And it was essentially a match funding programme that gave fundraising departments within arts organisations match funding if they could find new ways of raising money. So Sheffield Theatres took um, a big risk and invested in me through the Catalyst scheme and created a fundraising traineeship. Um, which I did for 18 months and learned all about everything there is to do with arts fundraising, working with memberships, individual donors, working with corporate partnerships and building sponsorship packages, working with trusts and foundations, the whole sort of range of everything that we do in the arts as fundraisers. And that started me off from there, really. I would say you need any experience you can get within an arts organisation and that's not just with fundraising that is about understanding the whole organisation the way everyone works it worked for me doing a number of different jobs and having an understanding of how everyone within an organisation works and has that common goal being a fundraiser isn't just about sitting in your own little silo and raising money it's about the way the whole organisation works so you need to understand what everyone's doing in their roles in order to enable them to effectively help you as a fundraiser in the organisation. I really enjoy when we see projects happen, when we see the organisation I work for being successful because of the work that we've done. Whether that be working with a donor to help them realise their aim of giving some money to support a specific project. There's a lot of things that we do in arts organisations that are taken for granted but actually have a huge impact on people's lives. And that's what I really love most about what we're doing. When I know that money I, I've raised helps pay for a project that gets kids into the theatre who'd otherwise never get the chance to, that helps school classes learn more through workshops, through working with actors, through working with theatre companies, whether that be old people who don't get the chance to get out of the house that much, but through stuff that we do we have opportunities like our dementia friendly tea dances which may often be their only time to get out of the house things like that make you realize actually what we do as arts organizations is pretty incredible so to know that i raised the money to help those things happen is a really rewarding thing to go to work for To be a good fundraiser, you first of all, you need to have good communication skills. You need to be able to communicate and talk with people at all levels, whether that's, the, whether that's teachers and school pupils who are using your services, whether that's CEOs, people at high level within organisations who you want to become your business partners, who you want to support you, whether that be you know, potential individual donors and your colleagues. You're working with a whole wide range of people. As well as communication skills, I think you need to be passionate about what you do. You need to have a love for the arts and you cannot successfully fundraise for an arts organisation unless you really passionately believe in that. And I think determination. Sometimes it's really hard work. In the current climate that we're in, people don't have a lot of money to spare, so asking them to make a gift to support your organisation when they might be having to count the pennies a little bit in their own life is sometimes really difficult but you've just got to keep at it and help build those relationships and eventually the success will come through. I would say to start early get as much experience as you can working in any arts organisations. There's all sorts of jobs in there and the more you understand about those organisations the more successful you will be as a fundraiser, the more opportunities that will come to you. There's a lot of places out there looking for interns or trainees or, or administrators within fundraising teams. Just go for those jobs because you will learn through working with the really good fundraisers that there are out there in a whole world of organisations across the UK.